Finding time to coach your sales reps and to train your team is already hard enough. Imagine trying to do this consistently every single day. Well, what if we told you there's a way that you could coach your team every single day through micro coaching? I mean, two minutes of coaching that's geared towards the exact challenge that they're going through right now. You would be interested, right? Especially if you are selling, you want to improve? This would be a worthwhile idea. Well, don't you worry, don't you fret. Today, we're going to give you an idea of how that could work and how to make it happen in your organization. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly. The Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we have an amazing guest. His name is C. Lee Smith, and Lee and I are going to talk about this concept of micro-coaching, how this works, why it's so important, and especially right now, what sales leaders can use, uh, how sales leaders, can, sales leaders like you and me can take advantage of this tool and this capability to help their team in just in just like a fraction of uh, of time throughout the day. I mean, two minutes. Now, it's not as just like a you know random thing. This is tailored towards your team members' specific need and how they can get the help to improve. We I won't give it away. He's going to tell you exactly how it works, and you're going to see how you can take advantage of this as well. What is the problem besides what I shared? Is that what you typically see the, the issue is with sales leaders when it comes towards coaching or what are some of the other issues why people don't do coaching? Well, the, the, the number one thing is, is that they're not being held accountable for coaching, you know, from, from, from the very top, from leadership. So, it, the, so what happens is as sales managers, we get busy, you know, with, uh, you know, the, first and foremost, we got to meet the short-term quota. You know, we got to figure out a way to make that happen. Then we've got to be in the meetings. We've got to get our reports done. Then we've got fires to put out, uh, maybe deal with some difficult customers, that sort of thing. Uh, and heaven forbid that we should have an opening on our sales staff because now we have to spend time, you know, hiring and interviews and things like that. So there's always something that's, you know, else that can be done. And if we're not being, if we're being held accountable for that short term quota and that short term goal, where that's where all the emphasis is going to be. Number two thing is sometimes sales managers don't feel comfortable with coaching. Uh, either they, they they don't know how to do it well, or you know they, maybe they feel like they're getting some resistance and some pushback then from, from certain members of their staff. So they don't really look forward to doing it. Mm -hmm. And there's always more other things that need to be done. So that doesn't happen. And then there are the ones that, that legitimate want want to do the coaching, but there's so many, only so many hours in a the day. There's always scheduling conflicts and everything like that. So how do you maintain that uh, that coaching momentum? You know, from week to week, if you're only meeting every other week, or, or, or some of our uh, research shows, you know, typically every three to four weeks is when that happens, and you can't really maintain any type of momentum, you know, when, when you're doing that. And so that's what led to the concept of applying the concept of micro learning, which is something that the that sales enablement folks do over in training and applying that to coaching then. So what we're doing is uh, we're advocating then short, frequent bursts of coaching that can be done uh, within two to six minutes. And this way, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, they can be done by tweet. They can be done by text. We, we recommend Slack messages are great for that. And, uh, and build a whole platform based on that called CoachFeed uh, to help sales managers do it so that it doesn't require any more time uh, out of their busy day. But yet you can maintain that coaching momentum from in between your one-on-one -on -one meetings. You know, how can I effectively coach someone? Because in, in my mind, I'm thinking like just traditionalists here going through a traditional method where I'm diagnosing, I'm asking questions, finding out what some, identifying what some of the challenges a, a seller has, and then giving them some feedback and so forth. How does that condense down to such a short period of time? You know, so it, the same uh, principles of coaching apply. So we're still asking questions. We're not giving advice. Uh, we're still giving encouragement and, and, and motivation. So we're still doing that. It, except the difference is, is that instead of uh, focusing on one big issue or, you know, one, okay, you really need to get better at closing, for example, instead of dealing with that, we focus in on the tactics rather than strategies. 
And so we, we can say, okay, what is, you know, what have you done then to code, to, to close the ABC wholesale account? Okay, what's mm -hmm. your next step going to be? Have you, th have you thought about doing this? Uh, that's it. And you're focusing on one particular, one particular topic. Tactics are better than strategies when you're dealing with micro coaching, and uh, you know. And of course, you're still asking the questions, and you're still you know being upbeat, motivational, and uh, uh, but you're letting them do all the talking. And hopefully, the idea there is to ask enough smart questions, then that you get them to come around, then really answering the the question themselves, and then you have buy-in, just like regular coaching. Pretend I'm your sales rep. You're my sales manager. Um, my challenge is discovery. I have a difficult time with discovery call. How? What are some? What's one? How would you be able to do that in a, in a short, particular uh, manner to help me on that? So, uh, in that particular situation, uh, I would recommend the account-based coaching, which is part of CoachFeed. And what okay. that does is that we focus on a, on a particular account or prospect, and then what the uh, initiative is, or what you know what the goal is there. So, do I want to land a new account? Do I need help saving an account? Do I need help uh, closing an account? Do I just want to advance them down the pipeline? Or do I have an existing account that I want to grow? Each of those then require different sets of discovery questions. Uh, we're very big into the discovery process because we believe if you have enough pre-call research and you've, and you've done a good job there, you're going to be able to ask smarter questions. So part of what uh, Sales Shield does is that that's what we've been doing for 30 years is, is helping salespeople with pre-call research. Coach your managers on how to be better coaches. I mean, so you also have to do the coaching. So it's like, you know, it's like it's one thing to tell them, you know, the right thing to do, but also if you can show them the right thing to do by actually helping the managers. And, this, and the managers are, you know, you know, a lot of times they're starved even for you know, getting proper training, you know, yeah. and, and so, the, you know, they're not getting training, they're not getting coaching. Uh, you know, you as a top executive, you're super busy and uh, as well, and you're, you're being pulled in a lot of different directions. But, uh, you know, the managers could use your guidance and, uh, you know, they've got a lot that they can learn from you. So, you know, spend a little bit of extra time then to share that with them and show them how coaching should be done. You know, is that you can actually lift the, the revenue by up to th or the effectiveness you know, by, by 25 to 38 percent or 35 percent. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, find a way to do it. You know, you, you're going to find a way to do the things that are, that are going to make you effective. And I'll, I'll know that maybe you don't see the results in coaching short term, and maybe it's more of a long term play. Uh, you know, the idea that instead, instead of having to worry about having to make the quota every single month or every single quarter is, is you know, don't just improve your sales process, but improve your sales people. And when you do that, then it's like you can improve your salespeople and let them make the numbers. And uh, that, that makes that things a hell of a lot easier on you until, you know, corporate finds a way then to jack up your quote another 5%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll figure out a way. Like yeah. water, right? They'll find a way. They'll find a way. <laughs> Listen, Lee, man, if folks out there want to get in touch with you and learn about some of the great things that you're doing, what's the best way for them to go about doing so? Well, go to salesfuel.com. That's our website. Coachfeed.com is the sales micro-coaching platform. Also, you can learn more about me. I, I like to do speaking. You, know, you can learn about my books and everything like that at cleesmith.com. And uh, yeah, we look forward to, you know, to, to con having a conversation with any and all of you. Well, I, I love to see uh, Lee, man. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show today. Yeah, thank you for having it. me, Don. I really appreciate it and enjoyed it very much. Micro coaching is awesome. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you got a chance to go and connect with C, um, my good friend C Lee. You can find all of his information down below. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you're listening to the show. It just goes a very long way when we can get folks like you to do that. I appreciate you. Please, please, please go ahead and do so. You know, the other thing that I want to make sure you're aware of, too, is this podcast not only benefits in you as an individual, it can benefit your whole team. So if you know somebody else that's not listening to our show, please go ahead and tell them about the podcast. Let them know how they can subscribe, and that would just go a long way. We appreciate you. As always, we share stuff like this. We want you to improve. We tell you about our sponsors who are giving away value because the stuff that they're giving is so good. I don't, I don't evangelize things that I don't believe in, and I feel that this these sponsors, these products that we have can really help you and your team. Check them out. I want you to find more of those ideal customers. I want you to know what to say when you reach out to them. I want you to close more deals. But most importantly, I want you to raise your level of thinking each and every single day and go out and do big things. 
Thank you so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you enjoy the content, I ask you to go ahead and hit that like button, that thumbs up at the bottom right hand corner. Also to make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. This way we'll keep you up to date with all the latest sales strategies, latest tools, and things that are gonna help you to not only find more prospects, but to close more deals. Thanks so much.